This uh, recording will show how to find the slope and concavity like in number 6a of the review given a parametric equation. So this is a typical parametric equation. If we have to find a slope and a concavity, we first need dy dx and d2y dx squared. dy dx is done using this formula. I'm sorry. dy dt dividing by dx dt. So you go up here and find out what dy dt and dx dt is. dy dt is um, 2 cosine of pi over 2t multiplied by the derivative of pi over 2 that'll be pi over 2t that'll be that. So that's pi cosine of pi over 2t. And then dx dt is negative 3 sine of pi over 2t. Again, you need to multiply by pi over 2 thanks to chain rule. So on the bottom, you will have negative 3 pi over 2 sine of pi over 2t. Uh, if you do the proper cancellation, you are left with negative 2 thirds cotangent of pi over 2t. This simplification is necessary because if you don't simplify, it will be hard to find the second derivative. The second derivative is the t derivative of dy dt dividing by dx dt. So we are trying to differentiate this thing and then divide by that thing. So if I do that, it will be the derivative of that thing is minus 2 third and then there's cosecant square of pi over 2 and then negative cosecant square. So this becomes a plus and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. And for dx dt, it will still be the same, minus 3 pi over 2 sine of pi over 2. So you might want to uh, simplify this. Okay, so that's 2 third and 2 third, that's negative. So this pi cancel with this pi, right? This 2 cancel with this 2. And then the 3 comes down, so it's negative 2 over 9. Uh, 1 over sine cube. So if you want to know the slope, all you have to do is... Uh, they want the slope at... Sorry, they want the slope at uh, t equals 1. So substitute the t equals 1 value into dy dx and that will be yes okay and if you want to know concavity all you have to do is times one so that's what that is Find out what that is and get the answer. Okay?